All right, here we go. I'm gonna take the roof rack off and raise this. This one's really close. If I put my gear on, I have to put it all the way to the front or all the way to the back. I can't put shovels or anything in the center. That little bit of weight sags it and it touches the roof. I have uh, like 3 16ths of a gap. Put it back on and see what it looks like, but it'll have a little arc to it. We'll see what happens. All right, let's get started. Here's the, here's the culprit. I shortened them when I first got the racks. I'm gonna do these ones first. I'll just cut them off. I shortened them too much. I strengthened it. I figured that would help. You could tell it, it rubs. You could see the, the few little rub marks. So we'll see what we could do. This worked out really good. I'm thinking of lowering the front one. As you can tell, it just bows up a little bit. Get it to go with the roof line a little bit more. And also, you can tell it bows up with the rear. So I'll lower this one. I'm going to steal one of those C upright bars. I'm gonna put one in the middle. And then on this one here, I'm gonna put one in the middle and see if I can center the solar panel to fit it. I do have room back here and I need it. All right, let's get on it. Trying to stay cool. Got this all ripped apart. Took the two bars out of the center. I'm gonna put one in. I'm gonna move my solar panel back. So that way I can put another bar in the center here. I have these guys that go across, lower the front crossbar, lower the rear one, and we'll be set. Putting it back together a little bit. Have you ever seen anybody drill holes in a solar panel before? Or is this your first? Don't do it. So far, it's all working out. Able to put the front bar in. I have to make the little brackets for these. The back one fit perfect. Took one of the upright bars from the back, moved it to the front so I don't have to find another one. It's going pretty good. Got the rear cross bar off. This one's on, it's coming along. Gonna take about a half inch out of these. Half inch out of this one. And then I'll do the same to the front one, half inch. Got the center bar in. Finished it up yesterday, but ran into a few snags. Number one snag, brake light bracket needs to be raised up. And I have a little, a little dip right here. This one needs to be raised up. And it's really close, if not touching. This one wasn't touching, it had a quarter inch gap. By lowering this one and lowering the rear one, for some reason, this one got squished down and it's touching. So today, I'm going to raise this one up. I'm going to get the bracket raised up for the brake light. I'll probably have to trim a little bit of the wood. Um, I did move the rack back a little bit, or forward, so the clamps are straight, not at an angle over here. So I was busy yesterday. It's turning out pretty good, super happy. It's got a nice, nice arch to it, what I was looking for. Match the roof line. It's gotta raise this one up just a smidge. 
I have the leftover pieces from yesterday's rack. These ones match. I'll weld these ones in here. I'll lose the cut, so I, I lose a 16th, but I'll put that in there. I'll, that'll be enough to get rid of this bow and eliminate it from getting hit. I'll catch you when it's done. Yeah. Little pieces. Let's get on it. Lengthen these ones. Now we're ready. Slide it back underneath here. Voila. All right. Let's line it up and get her back together. Some Loctite. Oh, this kills me. Just get this upright tightened up. Aim for the light. Aim for the light. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna weld a little nut behind this one. I have to do the center bolt on this upright. So I'm gonna lean it over here. Ouch, sorry about that. There we go, look at this. Put this bolt in here. All right, let's do it. See the tripod I'm using? Ah, I need to clean this out so I can weld to it. tacked in there poor roof rack just finished up this little bracket I just have to weld it on uh, this is for the brake light I had it hanging below and to put the roof rack on and off it was touching the roof and I had the I had to remove it and then wrap the bracket with uh, a rag so it didn't scratch the roof this way I think I'll be okay what do you think I know too much work I should be out playing here's the bracket Looks like I need to center it a little bit better. All right, let's get it going. Back on the jack, grab some mittens. There we go. Find the hat. Welding helmet. Find the welding helmet. <laughs> All right. Probably won't be able to see this, but try a different angle here. Just hitting up some of the old holes. Looks pretty good. Cool. I'll go around this way. That one got me. Don't scratch it. 
right? Not pretty. The wind's blowing against from the north this way. So I'm hoping that the solar panel won't get damaged. in my plastics. Let's look. Looks pretty dang good, folks. Make sure it's on, we're all right. Too much argon. Celebrating. Good old fashioned Loctite. It's tight fit. Put the top one, the easy one on first. That way it won't fall off. There we go, folks. Yeah, it's this, it's this tight back here. Oh, come on. I'm already wore out. My back's killing me. There we go. <laughs> My back's killing me already. break there we go it's beat up in here <laughs> it needs a good cleaning all right that's it for that put it on and I'll wrap this up Burning up here. The upgrade on my rack. 
All right, lowered the front one. I had to raise this one three eighths. You already seen the raise on this one. This one, I lowered three eighths. This one, I lowered, I think it was a half inch on that one. This is going to be my brake light. So added in the center bars, center bars, moved the solar panel to the center. And man, I am happy with this. Turned out great. I like the arc where it matches the roof line a little bit. That's what I was shooting for. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, please like and subscribe.